and have the night. Our big story today, the Somerville community still mourning the loss of a legendary coach. To say John McKissick made an impact on South Carolina high school football is an understatement. Tonight News 2's Danielle Hensley is speaking to those impacted by McKissick's passing. She joins us live from Somerville High. Danielle. John McKissick is known for the legacy he left on the football field, but the scoreboard isn't the only impact left by the football coach. He is Somerville. Somerville is him. That makes sense. McKissick began coaching at Somerville High School in 1952 when the population was just over 3,000. When McKissick retired in 2014, Somerville's population had grown to over 40,000. He's been here. He's been our legend. And I don't know if this will ever be broken. I don't think so. And uh, the impact? Unbelievable. Just millions and millions of things you could say. And they're all good. McKissick was not only active on the football field, but was also highly active in the community. He's unparalleled. I mean, uh, most people don't know. He, as far as the school system here in, in uh, Dorchester District 2, he probably had as much to do with with from from who was going to be the superintendent, who was going to be the principal. Um. Of course, McKissick would always return to the field, setting a culture of high school football Friday nights in Somerville. They closed the streets off at 3 o'clock. People don't understand that. It was just such a community effort. Everybody in all Somerville came to the football game on Friday night. It was the thing to do. Coach LaPrad told me you had to eat a good luck hot dog from the school cafeteria to be ready to play ball. In Somerville, Danielle Hensley, count on two. A special legacy, Danielle, thank you. And Justin, we've learned details for the funeral services for Coach Ms. Kissick. They'll be Monday at Bethany United Church. Visitation will be in the fellowship hall beginning at 1130. The funeral service will begin at 2 p.m.